What's going on, Cyphers here? And today we are reviewing some outdoor items that you need to have in a backpack ready to go the second you need to run. The second there's a disaster, anything. So that way it's already ready. You can just grab it and go. So I have a few assortments over here to my left that I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm gonna open this bag. There we go. So the first thing we're going to be showing off is this walkie-talkie. My sister's on the other end, and we are wanting to show y'all how it works and how good the quality sounds and how easy it is to assemble and to ensure the fact that you will have one of these when you need it. So I'm going to call her right now, and we're going to see how good they work, and y'all are going to be able to hear the quality of them. Come in, over. Clear. Over. All right, and so now y'all saw how the walkie-talkies work. So today, also, we're gonna be showing you how to use it. So that way you're never stuck in a situation where you absolutely need it. Okay. So, this button here has a call function. When I push it, it'll call her radio. And at the same time, if she wants to, she can call back. So, we're going to let y'all sound that and see how easy it is to use it. So, I called her radio. What's up? And she answered back. Thank you for the check. Over. And so, that's how that works. Okay. Also, there's a menu button for um, you to decide whether or not you want to push this button or if you just want to talk into it and it work. It, either way, it'll work. It has a built-in flashlight. So, as long as you have this, you have a flashlight. Also has a weather channel. The button you use for the flashlight, you just hold it down and the weather channel will come on. I'm not going to do that right now because of the simple fact. I, well, we'll go ahead. Let y'all listen to it. Afternoon to late evening time frame, particularly for eastern and southeastern Arkansas, and all severe hazards will be possible, including large hail, damaging winds, and perhaps some tornadic activity. Chances for widespread rain and a few thunderstorms will be possible across the state again on Saturday as a cold. So, that's the weather channel, and now y'all know the weather that's about to hit us eventually. <laughs> okay, I wish I wouldn't have listened to that now. But, moving off of the radio, we have a survival knife. The blade itself is sharp. It has teeth down here for sawing, um, sawing stuff as needed has a bottle opener right here on the very end is a glass breaker and also on the same end it has a seat belt cutter or cord cutter whatever you need it to be right here it has a flashlight and then right here a fire starter so i mean it's really a package deal with this plus you know either a self-defense weapon or even you need to cut something package deal and you can find it at walmart in the outdoor section next thing we have is this flashlight it is 713 lumens pretty bright um it's fairly heavy like it it's heavy so i mean you're you're gonna get a good hit in on somebody's noggin you are going to be able to defend yourself break the glass anything that this flashlight would be suitable for such as breaking glass such as needing to defend yourself i see this flashlight working in a, in those ways and like i said it's bright it has an sos mode and it takes four double a batteries so again it's not like it takes a super high powered battery next thing we're moving on to i'm gonna open it Yay. Is 
It's called a Lone Wolf Survival Pack. You can get it, like I said, at Walmart, like I got the rest of this stuff. It has a compass right here on this end. It has a um, little blade, which also on this side over here has a fire starter. You can actually remove this. I can't remove it apparently. I must be stupid. But you can remove this to replace it if you ever use all of it. But to show you these items work, I can't get to work now. Dang it. There it goes. So, has a fire starter. Has a high-powered loud whistle. Ow, that hurt. And that's just the bag itself. The bag is a orange flag-shaped bag. So, you can equip this onto a pole or something and signal for help wherever you are next thing is it comes with two very bright glow sticks i had that backwards very bright glow sticks you can break them and shake them like a regular glow stick but these are these are set to last for 12 hours and they're very bright like i said so those will be good for marking somewhere or you know you're in the dark light up the way which I may use these in another video. We don't, I don't know yet. I'm still trying to schedule a time and good, good place for that video. Next thing I want to get to is the whistle that comes inside that bag itself. It is a loud orange whistle with a lanyard wrapped around it. And that could be used to signal for help or to even um, ward off certain predators that are, you know, scared of loud noises next thing we have in this bag are five bandages um you get a cut on your elbow or anything like that you have a bandage to patch it up so it doesn't get infected i it also comes with um alcohol and peroxide soaked into the bandage itself you know certain materials so that way as soon as you put it on the cut you know, it's not getting infected and it's getting cleaned out. Next thing we're moving on to is some gauze. I couldn't hold it there for a second. These are gauze wraps. They're triangular uh, bandages. They're not sterile. They're not nothing. So these are mainly used to cover up bigger wounds. And last but not least, a emergency blanket to use whenever you need it in the cold or stuff like that. And food rations. It comes with water and a food bar. So that is gonna do it for today's survival video. I will um, do another video soon, hopefully, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.